David Cam here with another question bank question on topic 4.4. In this case we're looking at diffraction, or we're looking at what happens to waves as they pass through a gap or pass around an obstacle. We have parallel wave front incident on an obstacle. The obstacle is shown here in gray. Which one of the following diagrams best shows the diffraction of the waves around the obstacle? Uh, well the first thing that I would recognize is that where we're far away from the obstacle we wouldn't expect much effect. Uh, so as a, a bad example of an answer, we'll look at answer D. Looking at these waves going through, all of a sudden there's a huge change in the properties of the waves far away from the source of the change, which is the obstacle. Um, similarly, with answer C, we see that far away the effect is small, but even at medium distances we still see an effect on the wave, which is not what we expect. We really only expect the wave to be affected by this boundary. So the best answers are, are A and B. Uh, which one's the right answer? Well, in part, in answer A, we see this boundary causing the wave to bend around the boundary, which is what we expect from diffraction. We expect the wave to spread out along that edge. B seems to be very similar. The difference between A and B, though, is that in answer A, we get a very angular wave front. Straight angle, straight angle, straight angle. And there's really no, ex no reason to expect the wave front to have that angular property. We should expect it to have a, a kind of circular curvature. Uh, so the best answer would be 